GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Govi, a vernacular edutech brand, skilling everyone everywhere. You may be a world famous lover, a liger even, but are you offering Kushi as a family star? Is the question to ask. Hi, this is Galata Plus. I'm Kairam Vashi, and this is about Parashuram's The Family Star. A big thanks to Gopi Sundar's songs, Shreya Ghoshal and Shri Mani in Madhura Mukada. Sid Sriram and Anta Sriram in Amitidi are the only elements that I carried along while walking out of the movie hall. Govardhan works as an engineer, I suppose, in a construction company. On his shoulders, he has the weight of his entire family consisting of his brothers, sisters-in-law, their children and a grandmother. He has a strict monthly budget and a compulsion to adhere to it. He micromanages the daily household operations to the level of deciding how much batter has to be used in the making of a dosa. In short, he is the typical middle class common man. Indu enters his life and when everything seems set for her to happily join this family, things take a different turn. The story goes to the US quite unnecessarily comes back and yet fails to deliver effectively that one message I think it tried to deliver. Every middle class family has that common man who's actually a superhero. There are scenes after scenes to give us information about the hero's habits, his family situation, his colleagues, his career, but at every point fails to engage with us in a conversation. Unfortunately, throughout its length, this film remains a monologue, never a dialogue, not once. I don't want to talk about the heroine's character because that will reveal something important to this story. However, the task that she takes up in the first half is absurd, as absurd as her convocation speech in the second half. What was equally absurd was that the hero and his family had no questions for the heroine about her background, but I swallowed it because this is a masala film with no logic. That the hero Govardhan had an extreme character and all that we heard in the interviews sadly never translated to the screen. And neither was Vijay Devarkonda able to add any color to this pale script. His expressions, speech, dancing, everything felt quite unnatural. Honestly, at least to me, he didn't seem comfortable or confident and I'm afraid it's time that he reinvents himself. Mrinal Thakur's costumes are fantastic and she holds our attention with her charm, albeit in a forgettable role. The hero-heroine roles, like the other continuity misses in the film, lack continuity both within and between the incoherent scenes. Venela Kishore gets the same role again, a friend in a foreign land. The visuals are rich and pretty, while the background score is literally non-stop trying to elevate emotions that didn't exist on paper in the first place. The film borrows two highly important elements from the middle class family setup, finance and privacy, but fails to milk them. For instance, like in the first half, in the US portion as well, the hero and the heroine live in the same mansion, but that's not exploited for some good entertainment. It was Times Square, I suppose. There's an interesting role reversal that happens in that scene where the heroine saves the hero, but the follow-up to that scene is not great. Govardhan is shown as someone who will go to any extent for the sake of his family. And he, towards the end of the film, offers to take someone into his family and that was a perfect thought for his character and the film. However, in the follow-up scene, the person whom Govardhan wanted to take in is somewhat ridiculed because of a physical handicap. Something about his family that Govardhan wanted to keep within the four walls is made public by him towards the end of the film, which was a good touch. But it was followed up with a fight and a lecture from the hero. At the end, this sadly is yet another film with wrong priorities. There are massive fights, but what should have been in focus are the middle class conflicts and insecurities.
on the whole if you are looking for a nothing special mostly dated the vijay devarkonda brunal thakur film with some good songs then you may gt holidays south india's number one travel brand govi a vernacular edutech brand skilling everyone everywhere